for Ivor, I guess. This was a good tip. Well, Jesse? So, are we doing this? I think Jesse's just taking it all in. Order of the Stone, it's time to get some glory. For, for glory! glory! I know we all yelled glory out there, but... I'm not gonna lie to you. I was hoping for treasure. Come on, you know how these places work. The treasure's never just out in the open. Let's fan out and search the place. Ah, my old friend the lever. Yeah? Okay, I'm gonna figure this out. Never doubted you for a minute. Hey, Axel. What you need, buddy? So, 
So, what kind of loot you think we're gonna find in here? Oh man, well, I wanna make a room with an emerald floor, right? Who doesn't? I'm like four emeralds away, so getting some emeralds would be pretty sweet. Man, we have the best adventures, don't we? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. I was worried I wouldn't be cool enough or smart enough or whatever enough to be in the Order of the Stone. Thanks for always believing in me, buddy. You know it. Axel, what do you think of the situation? Um, I don't know about the situation. I kind of do more blowing stuff up. So, if you need someone to do stuff like that, I'm totally your guy. Okay, I'm gonna keep working on this. Sounds good, dude. What's up? Any ideas for how to fix this? Well, these channels of lava are blocked in strategic locations by those sticky pistons. Unblock them, and I'm guessing something cool will happen. So, have you been having a good time hunting for treasure? If you had asked me a couple of months ago, I would never have thought I would like all this adventuring and treasure hunting stuff. But this has actually been a really good time. And I've been getting lots of great stuff to build with. So what kind of treasure do you hope we find in here? Well, I've been working on a build that could use another couple dispensers. But some cocoa beans would be cool too. Okay, I'm gonna figure this out. Never doubted you for a minute. It's not. Never mind. Hi, Petra. Who's Petra? <laughs> Kidding. So, how are you feeling lately? Memory's all back, as far as I can tell. Now I'm just trying to get used to having teammates and people who worry about me. That's pretty new for me. It's nice, though. What do you think Ivor knew about this place? Eh, who knows? That guy's read like a million books and traveled all over the world. You probably start to learn a thing or two about a thing or two. Thoughts on this place? I think I'd rather be in a straight fight than doing all this switch pulling stuff. But I'm glad Ivor's intel about this place was good. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying to solve this.
have been disappointed if the floor didn't open up into a dark, creepy passageway. This kind of reminds me of when we first found the Order's Temple. We were such a scared bunch of noobs back then. Hey, I wasn't scared. No. Then who was it that was yelling, Help me! Help me! The dispensers are trying to kill me! Wow, yeah, that feels like it was, I don't know, a million years ago. You packed a lot in since then. And to think, that was just the beginning. Yeah, I and mean, that was before we'd fought wither storms, hung out with Enderman, reunited the Order. So crazy. Bingo! All right, let's see what we've got. reminds me of that time when you got a cake from that witch's hut and I was super jealous of you. It's just, I really love cake. My mouth is practically watering just looking at it. Hey, if you want it, it's all you. Oh man, oh man, oh man, thank you. Huh, a pumpkin, not bad. I suppose that could be useful if we run into Enderman. And looks like we've got one more thing in here. It's... What did you find? What are you guys talking about? Whoa, that's super cool. I've never seen flint and steel like that before. I'll be honest with you, Olivia. I have no idea what this is or what it does. Uh, I do. A burning stuff, right? I mean, but it must do something besides that, right? You could give it a shot and find out. Okay, flint and steel, do your thing. Definitely never seen Flint and Steel do that before. Uh oh. Looks like some monsters have a death wish. So, what's the plan? If you ask me, it seems like a good time for a secret handshake. Yeah, so let's use the redstone wrap. Obviously. Uh, I think you mean the warrior whip? Obviously. Oh, come on. It was my idea. Let's do the grief for grab. Warrior whip, go! Come on, Jesse. Make it good. Just like... Whoa! You guys, that was amazing! Okay, okay. It wasn't bad.
coming like my lucky swoop. Oh no! Come on, dude. Let's get you out of here. I tell you guys, doing that never gets old. Woo! Yeah, not too bad. Killing a bunch of monsters, getting sweet treasure. Like that flint and steel thing? You gotta try it again. I'd be curious to see it again, too. I'm dying to know how it works. I'm good. You can give it a shot, though. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Well, well, where'd you get the new toy? Order of the losers. Yeah, losers. Ugh. Who let you guys out of your cave? Joke's on you, we don't live in a cave. Sorry, but who are you again? Oh, I get it. The Order of the Stone is so fancy that they don't even recognize us anymore. Even though we used to wipe the floors with you guys every building competition. So what are you ocelots doing here anyway? The ocelots were Lucas's gang. We ditched that name just like we ditched him. Yeah, we rebranded. We're the Blaze Rods now. Blaze Rods! Shut up, Gil. Sorry, boss. Don't do it again. Oh, uh, that's too bad. I thought Ocelots was way cooler. That's what I said. Shut up, Gil. And hey, where's Lucas, huh? The minute the Order decided you were cool... For whatever reason... He wouldn't stop sniffing around you like a tame dog. You take that back! Hmm, no. Hey, Lucas is ten times the guy you are. Or he's a whiny dingus. Petra, just ignore it. They don't know what they're talking about. Lucas is our friend, Jesse. No one talks about our friends like that. You probably think that thing makes you so special. Classic Jesse. You take all the best stuff and never give anyone else a chance. That should have been ours. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Blaze Rods. Hey, we earned this, all right? Fair and square. Yeah, we fought monsters, lava, and levers to get this thing, and we ain't giving it up. <laughs> Nothing you've ever done has been fair and square, Jesse. Hand over the flint and steel, Jesse. Don't make me ask again. You don't get that one. It's supposed to be mine. Haven't you taken enough? You better back off, Aiden. Getting this was no cakewalk. Taking you down wouldn't be any trouble at all. Big talk. Gonna back that up? I'm tired of listening to your jaw flap. Ah! Ugh. You don't touch me! Some hero you are, Jesse. Let's just go home, you guys. These blaze rods aren't worth it. <sighs> Fine. What hope do we have when heroes like you are throwing your weight around like this? It's not always going to be this way, though. Come on, you guys. Let's get out of here. Blaze rods! Ooh, I told you to shut up! Look out, Jesse. I don't remember him being that angry before. Wow, they scared easy, didn't they? Not easy enough for my taste. We should be careful. He seems different. Scarier. Man, and all because he wanted that flint and steel. What are you going to do with it? Ivor's the one that told us about this temple. He might know something about it. Hopefully Ivor can tell us more about it.
finally starting to recognize stuff again. Feels good to almost be home. Cheers to that, friend. I just can't shake what Aiden was saying about us back there. We do get a lot of treasure. And I guess sometimes we might throw our weight around. What? No. Aiden's got a bad case of treasure envy, pure and simple. I don't know. Come on, Aiden's just jealous, isn't that obvious? He sees us with our fancy armor, cool treasure, and he wishes he had it too. I guess so. Well, no matter what Aiden thinks, there's one thing I know. What's that? They think we're awesome. They're back! You guys, they're back! Run! Tell everyone that our heroes have returned! It looks freaking awesome! Happy to see us scream. Wow, that's new. It somehow manages to evoke skulls and tentacles. While still doing the whole barfing lava thing. Yeesh. I don't know, I think it's kind of cool looking. Oh, that thing looks completely dangerous. Eh, not my fault! Look out! Oh, uh, help! Oh, stop your whining. What are your pathetic injuries in comparison to my majestic tower? Ivor? Of course. Oh, Jesse, you're back! Don't listen to a word these fools tell you. It's a fire hazard! And your face is an ugly hazard. So I suppose we're even. Causing trouble again? Nothing. Just a little spirited debate with the local community. Brain function is proving difficult for them. You need to remove this now! Jesse, all I wanted was what any man wants. A little house of my own! With loads of lava pouring off it. Ivor, I know you mean well, but your house wants to kill people. Dude, you made a killer house. Exactly! Killer! Shut up! Ivor, I like building as much as the next person, but there have to be rules. Well, we have to tear it down. We can't let that monstrosity stand. <clears throat> it's my house, Jesse. I have just as much a right to build something as all these people, don't I? They're just jealous that I've got vision. Well, they've got... They've got... Community planning. Blech! Ivor obviously put a lot of work into his new house. We need to show it the same respect that we would show a house not dripping with lava. Leave it. I'm sure we can find a way to work around it, okay? Long live my lava house. Long live lava! Thanks, Jesse. That's right. Keep walking. Keep walking! Always nice to see a gracious winner. Ha ha. Haven't seen you around in a while. So what can I do for you, Jesse? We just got back from that temple you told us about. The one in the jungle. What? You did? <laughs> yes! Great to see you again! Let's do lunch! I'll bring the carrots! There's no telling who's listening. Meet me in the treasure room. Ten minutes. And bring the thing you found! Well, if we're going to keep that thing up, we should at least encase the lava in some glass to make it safer. But... Like, not too safe. Come on, help me collect some sand. And you can make sure that when we make it into glass, it's the right amount of safe. Okay. 
We'll catch up with you later. Yeah, once we make sure this art gets the respect it deserves. Right. What he said. Nice work today, guys. Yeah, not bad, right? Hmm. It's like we should do this more often or something. Later, guys. Come on, let's go find Ivor. Wow, this place is really shaping up. Oh, hey guys, you have some pretty cool stuff in here. Crazy stuff. Hey, Lucas, great to see you. It's been a while. I really missed you guys. We missed you too. And you have so many other treasures. Boy, you've sure been busy. Oh, wow. You framed it. I'm him. Yeah. How are you doing? I haven't thought about him since it happened. It's easier that way. Gotcha. Well, if that's working, then that's good. <sighs> okay, guys. I promise I wasn't just here to bum everybody out. I actually came back because I need to tell you something. It's about this weird run-in I had with Aiden. Oh, I hate that guy. Whatever you said or did, it really got to him. Oh, great. And what did he have to say? Apparently someone told him about Ivor giving you a tip, some kind of treasure. He really wanted to find it first. Ha! Beat him. He's just been so jealous of you and the rest of the Order ever since you saved the world from the Witherstorm. He's convinced that he was supposed to be a hero. Ever since he took over the Ocelot and the Blaze Rods, it just seems like he's gotten meaner. He's pushing Maya and Gil around. Jealous? Why? He thinks you're a big bully, Jesse. Looting and keeping all the good stuff for yourself. So what'd you find that got Aiden so excited, anyway? Check it out. Wow. What a weird glow. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to show it to... You found it! Yeah! Whoa! Dude, what's wrong with you? This is the greatest find of our time. I can't believe you're actually... That you're actually holding this. Okay, Spill, what's it do? It proves what I've always suspected. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Whoa. Yeah. Dramatic. So, what's the flint and steel do, then? Uh, not 100% sure, actually. But I suspect that it's related to the exciting part. You see, if these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer to finding the Eversource. What a beautiful sight. Looks like you came back just in time, Lucas. More powerful artifacts, huh? Did you just make that up? No, I found books, mysterious tomes referencing it on my travels. Mysterious tomes, huh? The Eversource is said to be an object of incredible power possessed by the old builders. It was some sort of treasure or artifact that gave them an endless supply of precious materials. Think about it, Jesse. That temple must have been its hiding place. Wow. Old builders? You learn something new every day. I'm still just trying to wrap my head around the Eversource. Wait, like the temple we just got back from? We have to go back there? Yes! Luckily, you already know the way. He does have a point. Old builders, ever sources, ancient mysteries. You know I'm in. Excellent. I'll pack my adventuring things immediately. Wait, he's coming? Wow, sounds like you guys have a lot to get to. I uh, guess I'll take off. Nope, you're coming with. I need a buffer between me and Ivor. Let's get moving. <laughs> Adventure! Lucas, I know it's daytime, but watch our backs, okay? I can't believe we're bringing Ivor with us. I mean, it's...
it's nice that he's so excited, but oh, not my top choice for adventuring companion. Hey, he's not so bad. Why are you being so hard on him? Uh, maybe you forgot the whole Witherstorm thing? He kind of has a history of being a world-scale pain in the butt. These trees are enormous! I love it so much! He just really gets on my nerves sometimes. Remarkable. Look at this architecture. So old. So exquisite. Oh, this is just how I dreamed it would be. Except for less cake. My dreams usually involve cake. So, you think it's the right place then? Oh yes, Jesse. Oh yes, I very much do. Wow, it looks so different during the day. Okay, but careful what you touch. There could be traps everywhere. Petra, long guy, are you two as excited as I am? I'm not sure that's possible. Huh, doesn't look like those lava channels work anymore. night. Doesn't look like it's opening up again anytime soon. That's all right. I had enough of the spiders and lava and everything that had to offer already. You look excited, Ivor. Excited? I'm ecstatic. Thrilled. Overjoyed. The Eversource could finally be within my grasp. Once, uh, once we find it, that is. Pretty cool temple, right? Yeah, it's amazing. Not gonna lie to you, Jesse, I'm pretty excited to be along for the ride on this one. I can't believe we missed some sort of secret area here last night. Uh. We were kind of fighting, oh, a ton of monsters. It's not surprising that we didn't hit every single nook and cranny. wasn't there last night. That looks promising. I'm heading up. Fantastic! We'll follow right behind you. Uh, yeah. What he said. So you think this Eversource thing is up here? Hard to say, Jesse. As the story goes, the old builders feared its potential. So they hid it away in a place where it would never be found. And ha! It never has been! What is Jesse doing up there? Well, that seems promising. What do you see? <gasps> it's some kind of portal? It's just as I'd imagined. Spectacular. That's a weird looking portal. Have you seen anything like it before? No. The old builders experimented with portals, but this is different from anything I've seen.
Here goes nothing. Oh, thanks for bringing this back to me, Jesse. I knew you were good for something. You're pretty easy to follow, you know that? That thing is way bigger and more powerful than you can understand, Aiden. Give it back, says the person who just got knocked trying to light it. Step aside, Jesse. We're heading through that portal now. Oh, no way! Aiden, you're done. This is where it ends. Fine. Blaze rods! Clear me a path. We've got to follow them. If they get the Eversource, who knows what trouble they'll cause. Should we go back for Axel and Olivia? There's no time, Jesse. We can't let Aiden get the Eversource first. I don't usually like agreeing with Ivor, but he's got a point. Who knows what kind of trouble Aiden could be causing in there? Yeah, I guess you're right. Whoa, whoa! Yeah. Don't worry, I've got you! Oh, you are surprisingly heavy. I am uh, the proportionate weight for my height. Thank you very much! There you go. Easy now. Yes, thank you, thank you! Definitely don't want to fall down there. Any sign of the blaze rods? No! Nothing. Do you think Aiden knew about all this? The portal? The Eversource? He definitely seems to know now. Hey, uh, you guys see that? What? So very strange. Wow. Looks like some kind of city. That's incredible. That's it. That's where it must be. The Eversource. The city and the clouds. It almost sounds impossible. I just don't know how we're going to reach it. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a problem. I can't believe this. We fall through a portal into another world, and then we can't even go anywhere. Can't we just, like, build our way over? Uh, how? Oh, please! You've heard of a bridge, haven't you? I don't know. Seems like a long way. Do we have enough blocks? I mean, it's really, really far. Yes, very astute, Lucas. Ivor the Grump strikes again, I see. Don't be such a worry wart, Lucas. I got this. I think this island is more than large enough for our needs. Yeah, if we dig up this entire island, we should have enough to get us over there. I'm pushing! Lucas is pushing! I'm just trying to keep away from the edge! It's all edge! Okay, gang, I think that should do it. Let's make ourselves a bridge. Excellent! Okay, this is our stop. Everybody off. Ivor, seriously? <laughs> Sorry, can't help myself. Your building! I... you... I... I don't... Hey! Yeah, we're building. Is something wrong with that? I, uh... uh you don't know? Y you, you... you... you were building! Uh, unauthorized building is against the law! Wait, there's a law saying people can't build? Yes! It's forbidden! This... this makes no sense! No sense at I, all! I, 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 well, uh, that's the law? 
Okay, I'll bite. Why is building against the law? Oh, uh, this is making me terribly nervous, but uh, first those other outsiders, now you. Other outsiders? Where are uh, they? Uh, uh, they went to the inn. I I'm sorry, but that's all I know. Wait, 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 come I'm back. super busy, sorry. And he's gone. <sighs> Darn. I wonder if everyone here is that nervous. Wow. Incredible. What's it made of? It's kind of blinding to look at it. it looks like it's all gold and iron blocks. Whoever built this had rare materials to burn. Yes. Clearly the Eversource is capable of miraculous things. And when I get my hands on it... Hey, how about you take a massive chill pill and we find it first? Yes, 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 yes! I'm just getting excited. And as crazy as Aiden's been lately, if he gets that thing, it would be bad. Well, if we beat him to it, he won't be able to get his slimy little hands on the thing. I'm starting to think that maybe we should try and keep a low profile while we look for the inn. These people seem pretty suspicious of us. Agreed. Hello! It is nice to meet you! Boy, these are some popular crafting tables. Don't worry, everyone. Your turn will come in time. Please have your materials ready when you approach the crafting table. Huh? I knew I shouldn't have waited so long to eat. Hey there. Are you on a schedule for the furnace this afternoon? Didn't think there were any more appointments today. Hang on. Let me see here. Dale, 10 stone blocks. Oh, yes, that went very well. Melissa, three cooked pork chops. She rescheduled. Classic, Mel. Appointment? Why would I need an appointment to use a furnace? By city law, acts of crafting are only authorized with the founder's permission. This appointment system is in place to safeguard against any illegal building or crafting. If you wish to make an appointment, speak to the founder. Good day. No building, no crafting, no brewing, no forging, unless with express permission from the founder. All complaints must be registered in person. That's it. You can stop writing now. Intense. Hey, Petra, what you looking at? Just admiring the sights, actually. This place is so cool. I'm not usually one for, like, checking out people's builds or whatever, but even I have to admit, this is really impressive. The founder isn't accepting visitors right now. Captain Reginald, at your service. Hey, so what are you guys up to? Ah, just supervising this citizen while she does her build. The founder finally approved my petition. The founder? That's her palace up there. She is the keeper of the Eversource. Builds everything you see. Some days I can't even fathom how she keeps it all straight. She's incredible. I'm a... <laughs> I'm a fan. She builds everything? Yeah, well, it sure is amazing. <laughs> That's why she gets to make the calls about what does or doesn't get built. Like my build. It's no easy feat to get all these oak blocks. Your petition was very well handled. Oh, gosh. That's nice of you. I just don't understand why everyone shouldn't be allowed to build. Ha! <laughs> what a sentiment. I mean, it is a good thought, but it's crazy. Hi. Uh, hello. You know where the inn is? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I don't trust the innkeeper, though. If you really want to find him, his inn's over there. 
Thanks, I'll leave you to it then. They just built their way right into town. I know. I've never seen anything uh, like it. Hello. Oh, oh my. Hello again. Can we uh, do anything for you? Were you two talking about me just now? Um. No. No. Uh, of course not. Uh huh. Please don't hurt us. Can you two point me in the direction of the inn? They must be looking for Milo. Shh. Uh, I mean, no, 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 we don't know any Milo. Really? Because it sure sounds like you know him. Uh, okay, okay. We know of him. If you really want to find him. He's the kind of messy looking guy. Spender's always falling down. So messy. Thanks, I guess. You guys seem like you might have the scoop. What's up with the Eversource? Well, um, mm. Well, it's in the palace. I'll just leave you guys alone then. Have a nice day. Please stop building. It scares me. What? Nothing. We could have almost died just then. Oh, hush. Don't step on the grass, please. Okay. Sorry. I just take my job very seriously because it is, in fact, serious business. Not many people get the honor of watching the tree, but <laughs> I'm pretty good at my job. This guard must be special to get its own guard. What's the deal? The dirt here is precious. This garden feeds almost everybody in town. If even one block were to drop over the edge, whoo, catastrophe. signs point to that being the innkeeper. Like that sign. And where should I put them? Yes, just get them here. I'll deal with them. Get out of here. Go, go! Uh, why, hello there. What can I do for you? I'm not sure what the custom is where you come from, but uh, here, <laughs> it is considered impolite to stare. Uh, hi, I'm sorry to bother you. Are you Milo? Yes, yes, that's me. A pleasure to meet you. Uh, don't see many new arrivals here in Sky City. Now, what can I do for you, friend? I'm busy, but I can spare a moment for a friendly stranger. But uh, <clears throat> not too many moments. <laughs> what did you need? Some punks are trying to steal the Eversource. You know anything about it? Stealing the Eversource? <laughs> How outlandish. <laughs> Sounds like dangerous business to get mixed up in, if you ask me. I'm sorry, but it's like I told those other outsiders. I can't help you. Now, please. Hey, this is our guy? He tell you where to find the blaze rods? How many of you are there? I told you, I don't know anything. He hasn't told you anything yet? Is he hiding them somewhere? I am uncomfortable with this line of questioning. Look, I know you talk to them, Milo. Just spill it. Fine. If it will make you leave me alone, that Aiden fellow did come talk to me earlier. Wanted to know where the Eversource was. Called it! I just told him what everyone else already knows. The Eversource is in the palace with the founder. That's all that happened, I swear. What a bunch of creeps. Yes, I wasn't terribly fond of them. So where is Aiden now? The group left for the palace, and I haven't seen them since. Attention! Attention, everyone! Just a moment of your time, please. Emergency meeting attendance is mandatory. Oh, slime blocks. Curious. I wonder what that's all about. Oh, it's the founder. Oh, oh. 
wonder what this is all about. Yes, I'm nervous being surrounded by so many people. Guys, I think I found the blaze rods. Oh, no. What are they doing? People of Sky City, I'm sorry to pull you from your duties, but something urgent has come to my attention. A crime has been committed. A crime? What kind please, of crime? Please, please remain calm. Earlier today, outsiders built a bridge into our fair city from a distant island. Now, whether these outsiders know it or not, this is a violation of Sky City's most sacred law. No unauthorized building. Wait, is that you? Are you the bridge builders? Obscene! The builders! Atrocious! Everyone, everyone, please. Uh, no, what? Why would you even ask that? Jesse, wherever you are, step forward now. I have already been informed of your identity. I appreciate that you may be ignorant of our laws, but I will warn you, Sky City is small, and I promise that if you try to hide, I will find you. To get to that ever source at whatever cost. This is clearly our fastest way into the castle. Am I getting arrested? Wait! Don't be fooled by the Founder's lies. I can help you come up with a plan to get into the palace. Here I am! I built the bridge! Are you crazy? Does she look like she's gonna help us? Hey! Unhand me! Come with me! This sorry, I'm going with Milo. Me too! Quick, follow me! Wait, wait! I'm coming hey, peacefully! That's them! They're getting away! After them! Jesse, run! Run! Can't think she's over there! Come on! Where are you going? <laughs> take you to any further, you must take an oath. I think they went this way. You must swear to never reveal what I'm about to show you. What? Do you swear that? You can't let them get away! Milo, I solemnly swear that I will never tell your secret to anyone else. Fantastic. Philippe? Right this way. This is Build Club. Whoa. Everything you see before you was built from resources that my people have saved or uh, obtained. Man, can't be easy to come by some of this stuff. Nice work. It can be difficult, it's true. Many items have to be snuck under the noses of guards. Wow, and so are you the leader of this little outfit? Yes, I suppose you could say that. You see... One day, a long time ago, I was just a citizen of Sky City, like any other. I wanted to make a community garden, so I put in a petition for a dirt block, and mercy me, it was granted. But in my excitement and haste to build my garden, I accidentally dropped my new block, and it fell right over the edge. For my crime, I was tossed into the Founder's Dungeons. And I was in there for a very very long time. Oh, how I grew to hate that dungeon. Wait, you just dropped some dirt. What was the crime? The crime, Jesse, was the egregious wasting of resources. You see, in our world, when something falls over the edge, it is gone. Forever. But I have always believed in my heart that just because building is risky, it doesn't mean that no one should do it. If only I had known you were builders sooner, I would have helped you all escape when I first met you, rather than let your friends be taken. But at least you are here, yes? I would like to save Lucas. And Ivor, I guess. You said something before about having a plan, a different way into the palace to save our friends? Yes, I did say that. Hey, Milo! 
Ah, hello, my friends. Bringing in outsiders? Seriously? Pretty hard to keep this a secret club if you just bring people in. Yeah, we have it hard enough as it is. Everyone, please. Yeah, it's hard enough without you bringing in a couple of randos. Guys, don't worry. We're builders just like you. Yeah, Jesse's right. Just chill out. We're the ones that built that bridge into town today. What? Dude! Milo, jeez! Milo, are you kidding me? The most wanted criminals in the whole city? We gotta turn them in before the guards break our door down. Well, no, let's not do that. I assure you, harboring them is worth the risk. They are the epitome of Build Club material. Builders, I'm not sure. I say them builders. Oh, perhaps a challenge? All right, then. If Milo says you're these amazing builders, prove it. Yeah, build something. Now, see here, this is all highly disrespectful to my guests. I'm the leader here. I think I know my way around a crafting table better than any of you chumps. Oh, cocky. Let's see if you can back that up. We don't know many recipes, so if you just show us something that they build where you come from... You're gonna be just fine, Jesse. Jesse, it took us many weeks to scrape together this inventory. Please, use them for your build. build oh, build, thanks. Build, 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 build! What do you think the outsiders can build? Let's see what we've got to work with. Anyone got something to take notes with? No. Darn, I guess I'll just have to try to remember all this then. Meh, getting nervous yet, Milo? <laughs> what? No, of course not. Oh, this day is going exactly as I hoped it would go when I got out of bed this morning. <laughs> Don't worry. I've seen Jesse Craft under way more stressful circumstances. Really? Yeah. Once you've seen someone crap... Boom! Check that out! <laughs> I've seen one of those before. Yes, but we've never been able to figure out how to make one ourselves. Very impressive. Oh, wait a minute. This is called an anvil. It's very useful and impressive. I can understand why the guards are after you. I mean, that was awesome. Right? I told you. Yeah, we're really sorry. Wowzers. So sorry. <sighs> yeah. Sorry. We're sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Hey, these things happen. Apologies totally accepted, dudes. Now, uh, how about that whole getting us into the palace thing? Yeah, that would be great. Ah, yes, of course, of course. That is, after all, why you are here. I must say, though, after seeing you in action, your skills are even more impressive than I could have imagined. So impressive that I wonder if I could implore you for a tiny favor. What kind of favor? I help you get into the palace. You help me steal the Eversource from my people. Unlimited resources for everyone! I'm overwhelmed at the thought. Okay, but my friends are in trouble in there. So for breaking into the palace, we're going to save them. This is an acceptable and noble arrangement. Good. Now, as for how to get into the palace, according to my informants, the founder keeps the Eversource behind a secret door located in her throne room. Dramatic. Every night, the founder leaves guards at every door, but there's a single window at the back of the palace that is left unguarded. It's an almost perfect point of entry, but it is far too high. <laughs> if we can find a way through that window, the Eversource would be practically within our grasp. Guys, how high it is doesn't matter. What? You just have to start thinking like real builders and craft a solution. Yeah, like a ladder. Building ladders? Craft a way in? If you could show us how to craft something that would reach the window, we could get this heist underway. Yeah.
of us, Jesse, we will never forget this day. Okay, my friends, this should take us right into the throne room. Once inside, we will just need to find the secret entrance that the Founder supposedly uses. Isn't it exciting? On our way to changing everything! Freeing the Eversource for the people! Hey, would you keep it down, Milo? We're sneaking in, remember? Sneaking. Right, right, right. My apologies. I'm just so excited. Actually, out in the field, applying ladders to a wall. in here. Yeah, I know. I know. Why are you saying things to me that I already... Whoa! Oh. Jesse! Jesse! Katra! Boy, am I glad to see you guys. Right back at ya. What are the odds? Am I right? Lucas, Ivor, we're here to rescue you. I think you're a little late for that. <laughs> yeah, we broke out ourselves. It's a good thing you guys are here. Aiden's going after the Eversource. Which we obviously can't abide! We're here to get it first! Fantastic! That is what we are doing as well! Who, uh, who's this guy, by the way? I mean, I assume he's cool, right? Why would you assume that? He's cool, Ivor. Don't worry. Lucas, Ivor, this is Milo. He's the leader of an underground rebellion. Wow. That's pretty cool. A pleasure. Yeah. Hi. Sure. The Founder's secret entrance is supposed to be somewhere in this throne room. If it's in here, we'll find it. I'm getting a very door vibe from this. Yeah. What happened to it? Just need to make something to activate that redstone circuit again. There's got to be something in here we can use. Like a lever. If you can find one of those bad boys, we'll have that secret door open in a snap. Regal, not bad. Jesse, what are you doing? Ha, huh, sorry. Wow, it's so big. The nothingness, I mean. of the Enderman by Soren? Wow, how'd that get here? believe it we got in yes i'm very grateful to you for all of your help give yourself some credit milo you've done build club proud hmm. i get the feeling this is a special tree 
Yes, the ground you're standing on is actually the original island that all of Sky City started from. That tree dropped the saplings that grew into every tree on the island. I may not agree with the Founder's methods, but even I must admit, that's an impressive feat. Well, that is pretty special. Huh. <gasps> A cobblestone generator. Amazing! Lava and water. Placed exactly far enough that when they collide, it creates cobblestone. Genius! That is ingenious. So, how was prison life? Oh. It was wonderful. I've always wanted time behind bars to work on my poetry. That was sarcasm, in case you were curious. The rest are just inventory registries and legal information. Boring. This would be the perfect spot for it. How's it looking? Still looking like it needs power. Don't worry, I'll find the answer. Okay. I believe in you. where the founder crafts things for the people. Poor dead bush. Barely more than a bundle of sticks. Hopefully no one will miss one dead bush. Perfect. I think that should be everything I need to make a lever now. Okay, let's do this. Ah, my old friend the lever. Fantastic! Yeah. Didn't know you were watching. My apologies. It is still just such a thrill to see someone so confident and sure in their building abilities. Source, here we come. <gasps> wow, look at all these chests. Yeah, and they're all labeled? Creeper, zombie, sheep, pig man. Curious. But what does it mean? Huh. Eggs? The sign says sheep, not eggs. Might as well throw it and give it a shot?
A sheep? Is... is that a monster? <laughs> That's not so bad. It is fluffy. The eggs all have creatures inside them. And they're all different colors. They must be, you know, color-coded what's in them. So she can just spawn things whenever she wants to. So the Eversource makes these spawn egg things. Stay on your toes! We're close! Ah, I can't wait! Let's take a look around. Pretty weird. What? The Eversaurs. It's just a chicken. So the chicken lays the eggs, and the eggs make monsters, and the loot from the monsters made this place. We'll throw it in the minecart and let's get out of here. We're still taking it, right? The chicken that the entire city depends on? Are you sure that's a good idea? What are you talking about? We need to bring it to the people. With it, we'll finally be free of the founder. But that clucking thing is what we came for. <laughs> Milo's right. The Eversource belongs to the people. What? I thought that was the whole point of this adventure. I knew it. I knew you were here to steal from me. She's too fast! Just give me a second to catch my breath. The Eversource doesn't just belong to her. It belongs to everyone. This chicken belongs to the people! Don't try to stop us! It's just like I told you, Founder. They're here to steal the Eversource. Classic Order of the Stone. You don't say. What? No! Don't believe them! You have the wrong idea! Shut up, criminals. Are you kidding me? You'll just want it for yourself! You just expect me to believe a bunch of criminals? Aiden warned me that you were a pack of thieves, and here you are, prepared to make off with the one thing our city depends on to survive. Boy, when you put it like that, I almost feel bad. Yep, afraid I'm going to be taking the chicken. It's mine now. What? This is outrageous. Aiden, don't do this. Somebody order eggs. I've got Aiden. Save the found. Oh, you got me, Lucas.
Can we get to it in time? It's gonna be close! Holy crap, you're down here too? Lucas, you made it. Oh, yeah, only slightly worse for wear. Ah, gotta say, Aiden's tougher than I remember. Mm. Got me pretty good. Lucas, I'm really sorry I didn't try to help you up there. I only had a few seconds. Everything was happening so fast. No, no, don't worry about it. Aiden was, uh, <laughs> stronger than I was expecting. It was good of you to try and save the founder. Uh, speaking of whom... Is she okay? She's just sort of staring. Uh, let me ask. Founder? Miss Founder? I, uh, hope she's not in shock or something. You, uh, doing okay over there? I just, I... I can't believe it. <sighs> mm. This has been down here the whole time. I forbade anyone to look for land below us. It was too dangerous. A, a lost cause. Well, land is going to be a pretty big game changer for you guys. I mean, it's going to change everything. Yes. Look at this place. Totally untouched biomes all around us. Yes, it's all a little overwhelming. What, what do I do now? Well, how about you start with a few deep breaths <laughs> seeing all this after you've been crammed on a tiny island that would be overwhelming for anybody first things first we're gonna go back up there and kick aiden's butt sounds like the start of a winning plan to me getting back up my word you're right we need to do that i hadn't even thought that far ahead yet That's not a good sign. Aiden's made some big mistakes. He's probably in completely over his head by now. I can't believe Aiden could be so stupid. I can't leave my subjects in whatever trouble they're in. Jesse, will you please help me get back to Sky City? Stop Aiden. Help me protect my people. We did kind of start this mess. Of course, I'll help you. You're the founder. Thank you, Jesse. And please, call me Isa. Okay, getting back up. Getting back up. Let's see what we've got to work with. Huh, that'll work. What is it? Ah, oh, I see where you're getting at. Nice. Well, would someone care to explain it to me, please? Get ready to build something huge. Maybe the biggest thing of your life. What do you mean? We're going to build a tower of dirt all the way back up to Sky City. Grab as much dirt as you can carry. Oh, okay. That should do it. Jesse... What is that? Uh, what? What is it? Just... Wow, what are the odds? Don't worry about it. Man, what a relief. I mean, once you get that flint and steel back, it should be a straight shot home now. Well, guys, you ready? Yes, I, I think so. I, uh, I think I actually gotta sit this one out, Jesse. Aiden got me pretty good. I'm just not sure I'm up for towering all the way back up there. I'm really sorry. I probably wouldn't be able to keep up anyway. 
Yeah, you don't look so good. You should rest up. Try and get some food. That's what I was thinking. Thanks for understanding. There you go, buddy. Thank you for trying to help. It was very noble. Hey, what's with the last goodbye tone? I'll see you guys when you get back. Oh, give Aiden another punch for me. Will do. Come on, we've got an epic climb ahead of us. We've got a city to save. You ready? I believe so. And when I get up there, I'm going to tear those blaze rods limb from limb. Oh, and Jesse, I appreciate what you did up there. Trying to save me, I mean. Monsters, ma'am. Everywhere. They seem to be coming from inside the palace itself. Come on, we need to stop him. I'm sorry, Jesse, but I have to save my people. Take care of yourself out there, okay? And to you as well. Jesse, you're alive. Please, can you help us? Hang tight, Milo. quick on your feet but with all seriousness how are you alive i saw you go over the edge a quick version you know how you all thought there was nothing but void below you yes yeah that was wrong there's land you speak truthfully my friend no well i can't wait to hear all about it later i gotta get to the palace thank you my friend see you on the other side Aiden has taken over the palace. He's holed up in the throne room, throwing those spawn eggs everywhere. No one can get inside. You need to stop him. I know. Jesse, take one of these. They're all locally sourced and handcrafted. I use only the best ingredients. Got any potions of invisibility? Here! Can't stop what you can't see. Back down and get out of my face, Reggie! You're delusional, Aiden! The people of Sky City will never bow to you! You killed the Founder! Yeah? Well, you're gonna be next if you don't shut up! Now you listen here! I'm the Captain of the Guard! You can't just talk to me that way! I'll talk! 
Aiden, you've lost. I saw you fall. You went down. You're alive. You're alive. Is the founder with you? <laughs> what the? Reginald. Not one more step. I killed you once. I could do it again. You thought you could just kick me off the edge? Unfortunately for you, Aiden, I'm pretty tough to kill. Just die already! You should have left while you had the chance! Someone else in the spotlight, can you? You just can't let anyone else win. Oh, it just drives you crazy to see someone else succeed, doesn't it? Aiden, this isn't about who wins and who loses. It's about what's right. And that is why you're gonna lose! You deserve that kind of mercy. No, 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 no. Come on. You can't just leave me behind. If you leave me here, I'll die. Yes, ma'am. 
Everyone, stay together! Jesse, there you are! Jesse, the situation is getting out of hand. We simply can't stop all the monsters and protect my people. The longer we stay here, the more danger my people will be in. I guess we could jump for it. Waterfalls. The waterfalls can take us to safety. What? Are you crazy? The waterfalls will just take us into the void. We'll die if we fall down there. But there's nothing but monsters up here. You all just need to trust me, okay? Everyone just watch me and follow my lead, okay? so far. I will show you just how much I believe in Jesse's word. you enough. You've saved us all. So what do we do now? Everything's just so different and scary. But exciting? Well, let me tell you, Reggie. First thing you need to do is go get yourself some wood. How, uh, how do I do that? You find a tree and then you just start punching. Aiden. Hey, guards. Check out what washed up right next to me. Uh, Freeze, criminals. You're not going anywhere. Now, this is just speculation, but I'm guessing they have some regrets. I knew they wouldn't get away. Oh, I bet the blaze rods are in for a bad time. These Sky City people are not happy with them. Yeah. Hopefully they dig a deep hole, bury them in it, surround it with lava, and... Sorry, got a little carried away there. Attention! Attention! Hello, hello everyone, please. This is your founder speaking. Now that we're all safe, we need to organize. Start planning our new community. Are you listening to yourself? That's insane! We were prisoners long enough on that island in the sky! It is time for us to run free! Build whatever we please! Wow! Those two just cannot get along. Jesse, I cannot allow my people to be influenced by this naive idealist. Bah! I'm sure I do look like a naive idealist through the eyes of an oppressive dictator. Just relax a minute, okay? Relax? Relax? My people are in more danger than they ever have been, and you want me to relax! No, you don't understand. It will be night soon, and that is when the monsters come out. If we don't prepare, we'll be in danger. You are just making excuses to control our behavior, just like before. We must trust in ourselves, be able to learn from our mistakes. The people need to build! W what do we do? Who are we supposed to listen to? Of course the people can build, but we need a system, some rules. Rules aren't bad. This is all very confusing. Well, I think you're both right. You don't want to just run around with no plan, but you can't schedule and organize everything either. People need to be free to try new things, but you've got to be safe about it. 
I suppose I still have much to learn. Thank you, Jesse. I don't understand yet, but I trust you. Well, Jesse, I suppose the era of Sky City is over. We may disagree about how to run this place, but I thank you for everything you have done. I guarantee that we will be telling stories about your visit for many, many years to come. The day that Sky City was liberated. Just try and play nice with the founder, okay? I know you don't always get along, but her heart's in the right place. You know something? She was a little scary at first, but she's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna miss that crazy guy. I guess we should prepare for nightfall too. Without another portal, we're stuck here. Been a while since I've had to start from square one. Ugh! Just when I thought my days of punching trees were behind me. Aw, oh, come on, Ivor. It could be fun. Oh, that's right. In the middle of all the fighting and everything, I almost forgot. When I was on the ground with the founder before I totally found the portal. And you didn't say anything? Yeah. I'm actually going to have to agree with Ivor on this one. Did I not mention it either? Because I could have sworn I said something. No, you didn't. I guess the moment just never presented itself. Come on. Oh, hi. Ah, oh, there you are. I'm so sorry about her. That's okay. Looks like she's having fun running around. Yes, I think she took it pretty well when I told her she didn't need to be the Eversource anymore. What are we going to do with you now, huh? What are you going to do now? Besides, continue to be adorable, of course. <laughs> but that was a given. Now that you don't have to run everything yourself, maybe you could use the time to travel. There's a lot to see. Yes, that's a rather nice notion. How would you like to go explore some of those, um, very tall vertical rocks? We call them mountains, usually. Lovely. After so long being the founder and the Eversource, now we can just be Isa and her best friend, Benedict. Ah, that's a boy's name. Huh, what a closed-minded attitude. Jesse... I would be honored if you would take this as a small token of our gratitude. Thank you. Come along, Benedict. We have a lot of adventures ahead of us. Well, there goes the Eversaurs. Off to cluck and peck at seeds for the rest of its valuable life. Hey, Jesse. You okay? Jesse? I was just thinking I'm glad the Founder and Benedict have each other. Yeah, that is nice. Yes, yes. Very heartwarming. See? Just like I told you, one portal back home. Ugh. I just can't wait to put this whole world behind us. Oh, is someone being grumpy? No, a little. I was just hoping for a real treasure is all. <laughs> Livestock's no proper treasure. Although I wonder what would happen if you put that tiny crown on a different chicken. Come on, guys. Let's go home. We don't Axel and Olivia here when we've been. They'll never believe it. That's not what I was expecting.